Hi friends, Right Careers welcomes you to another brand new video for this week. This is Yes Sudarshan, your career coach. Now this week we are going to take a topic that uh, had I spoken it say 5 years ago or 10 years ago, people who are watching including parents and students would have laughed. Are you someone who is very serious on helping others? Are you someone who always looks around you as to what's happening around you in your in your community or in your colony or in your environment and then always wanting to help? Are you someone who wants to take some kind of social issues and in that process of helping others and making a change, if you are someone who want to really make a change and in that process earn handsomely, then this video is for you. The topic that we have taken for this week is career in social work or social service. Now before we get into uh, what is social work or rather what are the professional career opportunities in social work or uh, how to become a social worker or what are the pros and cons of social worker. We will see there are a lot of myth that surrounds around this profession called social work. I told you many people perceive social work to be a very very informal career. People think or people perceive that social work is a weekend activity. It's a it's a it's perhaps a work that involves you know uh, doing something for or giving it back to the society whenever you are free. I still remember vaguely that people used to you know uh, perceive social work as something where people used to come with uh, wear a dhoti or 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 pyjama or wear this jolna bag I would say and then knock door to door and ask for funds, do something for the NGO, for poor children, orphanages, etc. So if you think that as a social work, no, it's not. It's perhaps it's. It's partially yes, but it's not fully correct. Social work or social service has changed drastically over the past few years, especially for the last five years with lot of awareness coming up, uh, up with today's youngsters. And I know quite a lot of engineers who have taken up, who have, who have actually resigned from their lucrative IT or corporate career and moved on to social work or rather chosen social work as their career. So we will see how it is. So social work, as we all think, social workers are not someone who work only with NGOs. They work on a lot of issues. In reality, they work, they work with global challenges and global issues like poverty, malnourishment, education, whole lot of things, right? So we will now see what are the professional careers that exist in social work space. The first professional career opportunity that I can definitely think of is in the form of a child welfare social workers. As the name itself suggests, suggests child workers are someone, you know, who, who work with children and those children are either abandoned or say uh, neglected or abused. So the primary goal of this kind of workers is work with children and then to protect the children first, to protect the children, give them, you know, livelihood and then educate them. So that's the first kind of profession, uh, professional opportunity jargons like or, or, or words like adoption comes into picture. So someone has to be very, very strong in adoption law to be in this space. Uh, even adoption comes under child, uh, I mean under this, this, this domain I should say. The second professional career opportunity that I can definitely think of is a very common public social worker. It's very, very common that anyone can become a public a social worker, but there are people who have made it full time. There are people who have made a huge career out of this public social worker and have been a part of tremendous change I would say. I can give you quote few examples. Uh, if you are from Chennai, you must be aware about a company called Exnora that was formed as an, that was started way back 25-30 years if I remember as a, as a, as a company to, to clear garbage. But now it has moved on, it has whole lot of branches founded by Mr. Nirmal Kumar. So Exnora is one such example of, of you know how someone can be a change and become, become a public social worker. And then there are various NGOs uh, something like Bhumi, which does tremendous activities in, in, in a city like Chennai. Then you have EFI by uh, Mr. Arun, who takes care of uh, cleansing up of lakes or cleaning up of lakes and restoration of ponds and lakes. So these are some of the areas where you can associate yourself, become a part of a, a public social worker. So that's the second career opportunity that I can think of. The third most important career opportunity or professional opportunity that lies in social work spaces in the form of a CSR. Now CSR is the buzzword or, 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 or the most happening word in any industry, not only in one particular industry, cut across industries be it IT, non-IT industry, CSR is now the most used word in HR uh, phase. Now why this has become very important is the government has uh, come up with a law which states that any company with a net profit of over 5 crores has to spend 
2% of the net profit in CSR activities. Now, CSR is corporate social responsibility. Any company that, that earns a net profit of over 5 crores, 2% should be allotted to community service. Now, there could be any community service. It could be a general community service, a specific community service, anything. If you look at any company, say for example, HCL or Cognizant Technologies, they all have Cognizant Foundation or HCL Foundation, which does a lot of work on upliftment of the needy in the, in the society. Now, who does all these things? They recruit a professional corporate social responsibility professional. I mean, they recruit a professional and route the funds through them so that it reaches the right people. So, if you take up social work as a profession, you can still work in corporate under the CSR department. That's the third professional career opportunity. And then you can always go to rural India and become a rural development officer where the real India, we all understand that the real India is lying in rural, right? So you can become a rural development officer by serving in the rural parts of the country. Even doctors are now have to compulsory go to rural part of the country and then serve for one year before they are awarded the MBBS degree. So that's the fourth career opportunity that I can think of. Moving on, how can you become a social worker? What are the ways to become a social worker? You don't need, even though you don't need a formal academic qualification, it's always desired that someone pursues a formal education qualification. Naturally, any group you can choose after your 10th standard. Upon your 12th, you can still pursue any graduation and then become a social worker. But if you're very, very particular that you want to study social work, then there is BSW, Bachelor's in Social Work, and then Master's in Social Work, which is a very popular stream in India. You can pursue Master's in Social Work. Where to study? Across the country, major cities have such programs. In Delhi, if you take, you have Delhi University's Department of Social Work and then you have TIS, the iconic institute, Tata Institute of Social Sciences, which was started in the owner Bombay and then branched out to various parts these days in the country. Then you have Terry, which is another water resource management institute and then you have IRMA, the iconic institute, another iconic institute, Institute of Rural Management, Anand, which is at Gujarat and then you have MSSW, Madras School of Social Work in Chennai, Christ University and then you have JMU, Jamia Milla University. So, everywhere across the country, you have programs that offer social work subjects. As always in our episodes, the pros and cons, a uh, huge pros, you be a part of a change in the society, what more you want. You become a part of a change and flexibility to work. You can move to any part of the country, any part of the world and then start working in social, uh, uh, as, a, as a social service profession. Always social workers are in great demand. So, there is no need to worry about the demand factor. Few negatives, definitely uh, in our segment. The first, definitely it's emotionally taxing, uh, saying it's easy, but uh, doing it is very, very difficult or challenging. Very emotionally taxing. You might have to work with malnourished uh, you know, children. You might have to work with people who are underprivileged. So it's not that easy. You have to have a very strong heart or something like that because it's emotionally, it will be a taxing prof profession. Second one is, uh, what I can think of is definitely when you compare with an IT professional or some other profession, uh, the work environment will not be that pleasant because you have to have hands on. For example, if you if you are working on a leprosy mission, leprosy project, you have to work with leprosy patients and that's the reality. So you got to be mentally prepared for that. Uh, and finally, you also need to have high level of patience and empathy if you if you are going to choose social worker or social service as a career. Overall, if you ask me, if you are really keen on bringing a change in the country, change in the society that we all live in. Social work is definitely a career that we can consider to choose. And do subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is www.youtube.com slash right careers. And in case you have any clarifications on social work or any other career, all my credentials are mentioned beneath this video. Until next Monday with another brand new video. See you all. Take care. Have a great week. Thank you.